So when I was a kid growing up in Philly, I remember when my mom used to drag me along on uh, voting day to the polling place in our neighborhood. And I was too young to leave out in the lobby. So she would bring me into the voting booth and close those heavy curtains behind us. And she was ticking off those little boxes with the metal levers. And I remember thinking, this is so cool. I was so kind of enamored with that process, partly because I thought to myself, well, when I'm a grown up, this is one of those things that I'm going to get a chance to do, you know, like driving a car, having a family or getting my own place or whatever. Voting to me is kind of the most American and the most democratic thing that you can do. But, you know, there are people out there that don't want Americans to vote. They don't want you to vote based on where you live or what they perceive your beliefs might be or your age or even the way you look or the way you sound. And make no mistake, voter suppression, voter intimidation, these are fundamentally un-American things to do. So please don't wave my flag at me and tell me that you are a patriot if you want to keep your fellow Americans from exercising their right to vote. So here's what you do. Big election coming up. Look at the calendar, right? See what you're doing and make a plan. Get yourself an absentee ballot. Go online. Make sure you're registered. Come on. V-O-T-E. Be a grown-up.